Hey guys, it's me, Carrie. So sorry for the technical difficulties in my last video. I still have issues with my damn Samsung phone that it does the thing where it goes out of sync, the voice, the vocals, and the and the visual. It just looks weird, like an old kung fu movie. And um, yeah, I know you guys don't want to see that. I don't want to see that either. So I was going to do my first impressions and review of this lip balm in the last video, but since it got cut off, I'm doing it now. This is my first experience with Love and Toast. It is a lip butter, and it is called Strawberry Fields. And I acquired this in a swap with my dear friend, Jen, a.k.a. Beetle Babe. I'm so honored, so honored that she was willing to swap this with me because she, obviously, being Beetle Babe, loves and adores the, 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 the guys, <laughs> the Fab Four, and um, the fact that this is called Strawberry Fields. I know it's got to have feels for her, whether it's like the best lip on earth, bomb on earth or not. But she was sweet enough to swap her duplicate with me. So I'm really stoked to try it. I did break the seal on it already. I don't remember if it's because I've already reviewed this. And I hope I haven't. Or just tried it on my own. But um, it has a little seal that breaks like that. It is like a clearish yellowish color. And um, yeah, I'm so stoked to try this. Yes, I did try this. Or, and actually I didn't. Because it's got like weird funky little bubbles on it. So I broke the seal on it. But I didn't actually try it yet. So let me swipe. Swatch. God, I can't speak today, you guys. I don't know what's the matter with me. Wow, it's super shiny. I hope you can tell. And oh my God, I'm getting the scent already. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. It smells like strawberry, but it also smells like maybe minty or some kind of, I don't know. There's something mixed with the strawberry. I don't know what it is. Let me try it on the lips. And this, I didn't know of this brand, uh, Love and Toast, until recently, but I um, was at CVS the other day and I noticed they had some, so I don't know if it's exclusive to them or if that's just a place where you can buy it, but I know you can find this brand at CVS, and of course I'm trying to match up the stickers perfectly, and I can't quite figure out how to do it. Okay, I did. But um, that is Love and Toast. Um, let me see if it has a flavor. Mmm. Oh, it does. Mmm. I'm almost wondering if because it's called Strawberry Fields and it's covered in like flower designs, that could just be the design, but I'm almost wondering if it's got some kind of a floral undertone going on here. I'm looking at, let's say, the ingredients to try to figure this out. Okay, it says it's got Olea Europea olive fruit oil, Sarah Alba beeswax, Simoncia Chinesis jojoba seed oil. Okay, I can't, I'm not even going to try to guess this. They have technical terms, but in parentheses it actually says what it is. So there's shea butter, there's cocoa seed butter, there is natural flavor, cannabis sativa hemp seed oil. Hmm, interesting. There is aloe, there is vitamin E, and there is stevia leaf extract. And that is without all the big words. So, hmm, that is interesting. So the fact that there's hemp seed oil in there would definitely indicate that there is some kind of a floral, plant, herby type of thing going on. So I guess I was right about that. So it's like strawberry and herbs of some sort. It tastes nice. I mean, it's not like super strong in flavor, like um, like a lip smacker or like the old Revo's. I'm just super sad because Revo's are just not as good anymore. They never seem to have flavor anymore, at least not the newest released ones. But um, I am going to give this one an 8. I do like it an awful lot, and I'm, I love the packaging. The packaging with these flowers and stuff and the little... Um, actually, I guess that's a, is that supposed to be an abstract strawberry, I wonder? I would think so. Um, I just, I love the packaging. I, I really like it. It's a nice tight seal. It's adorable. And um, it feels good. It smells good. It tastes good. Nice and shiny. Nice and moist. So yeah. Okay. So we're going with an eight for that bad boy. Sorry again for the technical difficulties at the end of the last video. I hate when that happens, guys. Um, hopefully I'll be able to avoid it in the future if I figure out why the hell it happens. But um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you for Jen, Jen for swapping that with me. I'm so stoked to have that in my collection. And um, yeah, that's it, I guess. Thank you so much. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will be back really soon with more stuff. Bye, guys.